Greetings and welcome back everyone to another video. Kovac here and for this one going to be doing the All Undeads for the Family Brawler achievement. <coughs> now for Undeads they obviously have the best racial in game. Things that are going to give you trouble are going to be critters obviously more so as rabbits uh, let's see Prairie Mouse, I guess, could be one. Alpine Foxling's gonna give you trouble. Frostwolf Ghost Pup, for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of what else could really give All in Dead's trouble. Hmm. Getting swapped out, I guess, could give you trouble too, like the imps. But, they do quite well against they're all like humanoids that we got going around, especially freaking Wormy Tunkins. With that OP jar of smelly liquid, that needs to be nerfed, but Blizzard are kind of slow about it. So I don't expect to see it nerfed until, um, maybe in, at the end of uh, this expansion or something like that. That's usually how long it takes them to take notice of something like that. Or it may never get nerfed, we never know. But the whole synergy behind this team, you got Detective Ray, which is great against dragons, more noticeably the uh, Twilight Clutch sister. Got the Ghost Maggot in here that can take care of other undeads and has Plague Blood, which pairs well with the Emulation. But he went up in the air. Um, Incendian Fetish also pairs quite well with Detective Ray as well as the Ghost Maggot with Rot. <coughs> and I'm using the Power Speed uh, Ghost Maggot. I'm sure that you could use like the SS or something, but I just wanted that f extra oomph of attack power. I just realized he got an all magic team, which is pretty cool. He's got him a um, Infernal HH breed. It's pretty cool. going to spam Shadow Slash until he goes down. And he has been going first quite a bit. Okay, finally. Finally, I went first. <laughs> okay, looking good. Let's try and throw up a Wild Magic. Okay, cool. Swapping out, because I don't want to take that light. And, uh, going to throw out flame jet and then immolation immolation and then I'll wait for him to uh, throw flash on me before I switch out or he might actually die right here maybe nope okay I'm gonna switch out anyway to the ghost maggot Alright, he'll die right there. Gonna throw up Plague Blood, so that way my um, Detective Ray heals up quite a bit. Alright, I'll go for a Chomp. I'll probably just spam Chomp until my, uh, until my Undead Racial, and then I'll use Ghostly Bite. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Alright, here we go with the ghostly bite. And just one hit from a detective ray will get the job done. Boom. Alright, cool. Good start so far. Moving on to my next team over here, it is a bleed team, with the infested bear cub as the mauler. I believe he is actually the only undead mauler, which is pretty great. He's got his spammable undead attack as well, do with the humanoids, and I threw in fragment of anger, kind of to uh, round off the team. Now there are a couple of uh, undeads that can throw up a bleed. Yeah, there's only a couple. 
so, uh, no, actually, there's only two. Yeah. But, yeah, I went for the Blighted Squirrel, because it's definitely better than Bone Shard. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, looking at the arsenal that you have for Undeads, there are quite a bit. <coughs> I have to say, a lot of great ones, such as, uh, Frickin' Bone Serpent is still pretty good. Fossilize, fossilized Hatchling's pretty good. Wicked Soul is alright still. Unborn Valk. Got the Ghastly Kid. Um, there's a bunch of new undead pets. There's quite a bit that I wish I had. Like Smoochums. And, like, I think it's called the Revenant Hatchling or something like that. No, Restored Revenant. Yeah, wish I had this, but it's power, power. Okay, and we got the same guy. Okay. Go for... Huh. Last time, he started out with his Infernal. So I'm just gonna throw up a bleed and then switch out into the bearer. All right, switcheroo. <coughs> I do have to remember that he does have meteor strike, so when he goes up in the air, that's when I can. Uh <coughs> oh, never mind. He swapped out. Ooh, that was a nice crit. Um, go for another infest, I mean, disease bite. <laughs> okay. Let's go into, go into the Fragment of Anger. Soul Rush. <laughs> he might switch out right here. Nope. Just gonna do that. And, uh, Go for Seath to kill him. Oh yeah, and I'm taking Seath because uh, it's not really a good idea to take all magic abilities and Seath does extra damage to mechanicals. So yeah, you usually want to run Seath on Fragment of Anger. Then obviously take the AoE, Spirit Fire Beam. Fragment of Anger is just a pretty good tier 1 pet. You don't see him very often nowadays, but he's still pretty great. Alright, cool. Went first. Um. I'm kind of hoping I go second here. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course I went first again. Alright. Use Adrenaline Rush because I want to be faster than the Twilight Feeling. Ooh, that was a... Big juicy crit from you, friend. Gonna go for a wood chipper into a stampede. Pretty much. Pretty much. Stampede for one more turn. This is pretty much GG, even if he uses a break on me. Because it's only going to reduce the first hit of a uh, Maul. Yeah, this is pretty much it right here. Oh, he didn't even do it. Okay, well, goodbye. Goodbye, buddy. Okay, for this next one actually a pretty great undead team that me and a buddy of mine used back in Legion. Uh, let's see. 
With the whole haunt nerf, I'm trying to think if it is still as good as it once was back then. Because what you would do, use Ghastly Kid, go in, use Haunt. You could either go into Graves or, or Spirit Crab. If you go into Spirit Crab, you can use Amplify Magic to boost the damage of Haunt. Uh, and then you can go into Graves, use your AoE and all that good jazz, and then whenever Graves his health gets low enough, you just consume corpse while the goat is dead. And you can pretty much rinse and repeat that, but with the whole haunt and nerf, you're going to be losing 50% of your health every time you use it, so. Yeah. Oh, it's this guy again. It's unfortunate that I, uh, can't get a bit more variety, but I guess I can't complain, really. I mean, he is kind of doing the whole same purpose anyway. He's using all magic and I'm using all undead. It's just that <laughs> I definitely have the better racial. Alright, let's go ahead and amplify magic. Go into graves. I'm not hoping that he goes ahead and goes up in the air at some point. Okay, there he goes. Perfect. Perfect time to go for my consumed corpse just before haunt ends. And I should go, like, yeah, basically back to full health. Yeah, there you go. You lose half of uh, your health right there, as you can see with the whole haunt nerf. Doesn't tell you in the tooltip, though, so kind of stupid if you're just coming back to pet bounds you're like oh our haunt pet's still good I'm gonna go use the haunt pet oh hell did I lose 50 percent because they don't list it in the tooltip <sighs> yeah pretty much and then obviously uh spirit crabs rot pairs really well with uh ghastly kids book <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty great team, I had to say. I'm surprised he didn't go up in the air though. Uh, not though, <laughs> there. And uh, he has been hitting on the high end quite a bit with that crush. I have to say. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well I can dodge that. Uh, ghastly Kid. Which is ethereal. Alright, cool. I went first. Cool beans. Um, I think I might go for haunt. Hope it doesn't miss. Probably will, but yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I'll go into a uh, spirit crab. Go for a rot. Ooh, nice crit. Go for amplify magic and then surge a couple times. Surge. All right, come on, hit toast. Good job. Good deal. All right, it's gonna go for another surge. All right, nice it hit. <coughs> Going to go ahead and. Rot. Go for another surge. <coughs> oh, 
Ooh, we used right. Alright, well, I'm going to amplify magic, and he will still be considered an undead for two more turns after this one. And uh, I'd say it's pretty GG. I think even if he goes first and gets a crit, it won't do him any justice. I get 50% uh, extra damage with Amplify Magic and a done deal. Nice. Alright. Now with this fourth and final Undead team. Kind of hoping to go against somebody else too. But um, let's see, you got Macabre Marionette with the whole deal. Bone Barrage, the K, and then you got the Humanoid ability. It's great against dragons. You got the Frostwolf Ghost Pup, which is just is a really great pet overall. Takes care of other undeads. Son of Sea pairs well with the Marionette <coughs> with all its dots and jazz. Plague Blood, Touch of Animus, and it's just a really healy pet. Tier 1 as well. And this could possibly be the same guy, but he just switched his type to Aquatic, but who knows. Well, at least it's something different. So, I'm not complaining. Start out with the Frostwolf Ghost Pup. Ooh, it's a Mongoose Pup. A pet that you do not see very often, but it's pretty good. These things really reign supreme back in uh, Mr. Pandaria when rabbits, death adder hatchlings were really running rampant, as well as the um, un unborn Valkyr. Assuming that he's going to go for survival here. <gasps> he didn't, no. <laughs> no, I could have killed him. I didn't think he was going to do that, though. Damn it. Maybe he doesn't have it. Maybe he has Screech. Oh, this sucks. A lot. Alright, well, I need to spam Maraca right now. Ooh, that was a nice crit. I'm just gonna spam Maraca. Um, I'm going to go for Death and Decay, because what I plan to do, I'm going to get stunned anyway, and swap out, just heal up a crap ton. Uh, yeah, i go for Touch of Animus first. <coughs> I'll get healed right there, I don't need to go for a big heal myself. I really need my marionette to heal up for as much as he can. Fortunately, all I have is plague blood, and it hits like crap. Okay, I'm glad that did not stun. Ugh, I just gotta wear him down. Okay, Drain Blood. Got quite a bit of health, so I'll heal up for a lot. Uh, Touch of Animus. Now my, uh... Now the Marionette's gonna heal up for quite a bit. Ooh, we crit. Plague Blood one more time. He might bring in the Mongoose, who knows. Oh, okay. I see you. Good on you, buddy. Now, uh... He could potentially stun me here. So I'm gonna go for the Bone Barrage. So I can heal up quite a bit. Because even if he stuns me, I'm gonna get healed up. Which he didn't. So that's cool. Gonna go for Maraca. I'd have to say this was... Pretty close match, actually. It could be the same guy. Maybe he was trying to counter me with all aquatics or something, but... Yeah. 
pulled out in the end. Yeah, I figured he would do that, so. Pretty sure the dots will kill him anyway, but Morocco definitely will. And that will be GG. Nice. Very nice. <coughs> so that will wrap it up for the undead. Undead uh, part of the Family Brawler achievement. I'm actually almost all the way through. You see we got undead that we did already. Dragons, critters, beast, aquatics. What was that like five I think? I think it might be halfway through. But yeah, making it there. Expect the uh the rest of the the rest of the families as well in the near future. If you are having trouble with this then uh feel free to use any of these teams. But there are quite a bit of options if you wanna test the waters really. Quite a bit of great pets out there. Like Rattlejaw that I didn't mention. And uh Restless Shadelings, a pretty fun one. So yeah, that'll wrap it up for this one. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, as always, leave them down below. This is Kovac, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.